This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News. At 59 years old, Donna Aravonis' life has been a journey of hope. She was born without a foot. But as an adult, she's had to rely on her inner strength once again. CBS 47's Megan Roop has her story. There's a very short list of things Donna Aravonis can't do. So really nothing ever stopped me. Aravonis was born without a right foot. She's worn a prosthetic all her life. Since childhood, she's proved everyone wrong. And all of the neighbors um, scared because I was climbing trees and riding bikes. A fierce belief in herself from her mom carried into adulthood. So I keep looking for challenging opportunities to, to explore. This past July, Aravon is seen at the top of Half Dome holding what some would consider her handicap victoriously in her hand. So I took my prosthesis off and I had my hiking pole in one hand and balancing and then I lifted up my artificial leg in the other hand like to see to say you know, nothing is going to stop me. And nothing has stopped Aravonis from taking things steps further. I had the idea to swim from Alcatraz. Swimming in the sea. On October 19th, which is my 59th birthday. So I just slided on it. Her swim with the help of this. He had to do a cast of my leg. A special prosthetic fin weighing less than two pounds in total created by Jason Schott. She said, I want to do this open water swim and I thought well maybe across Millerton or something like that. Creating the fin was easier said than done. Our arms and swimming prosthetics are not as as um, common. There were challenges like keeping the fin suctioned on while in the water and matching it perfectly to Aravonis's body. Days of work and weeks of trials in the pool and out. But what kicked off Aravonis's quest, not her disability, but rather a late in life diagnosis that almost sunk her. Aravonis was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2010. A mother with two daughters, then nine and 12 years old, Aravonis's faith in God providing her strength. I felt deeply that I would be taken care of and everything would be fine, but it was really hard to convey that to my daughters. Through her treatment, Aravonis put her feelings into words daily on a caring bridge site. So as I finished up treatment, I thought, you know, I really want to put this all together in a book. Creating Struck by Lightning, my breast cancer journal, a journey of hope. But this year, another blow. Last week, Aravonis learning her cancer until now in remission has metastasized, making its way to her colon. Still, Aravonis is not stopping, training for another swim in the bay, another challenge. And it goes from the Golden Gate Bridge to the Bay Bridge, which is a 6.2 mile swim. So with every test ahead of her, Aravonis plans to live her life. If I can just lift anybody else up so that they can feel the motivation to, to live their life more fully, whatever that means for them, then it just, it inspires me too. Reporting in Fresno, Megan Roop, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Wow. What a beautiful inspiration. Yeah, so inspirational. That's right, and so much, so many of us get get drawn down by yeah. what we think, see are big things that are yeah. little compared to others. Yeah, Donna's our hero there. Yes. That's a great story. Thank you, Megan.